Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here, back again with another pickups video and a bit of a channel update. And as promised on my last video, I said this one will be mostly focused on CD based games that I've been picking up over the last few months. I think we'll start with some bits and pieces, some stuff that um, I've picked up um, over the last few months. Oh, that's better. Apologies guys for the sound, um, I noticed in my last video the sound was playing up, on further investigation um, I have no microphone, my um, clip on microphone is broken and I've now broken my main mi microphone, so the gremlins have been out in force, um, but I'm hoping the sound is good enough guys, um, and let's get underway, the first one we've got is a purchase of Galaxy Sega, now a, good, a few good Galaxians um, tagged me in this post because they knew I was after this game because I've missed out on it quite a few times and that is Three Dirty Dwarfs. Now I know Wes Harper and Peter Coombs, they both tagged me in this because they knew how desperate I was to get hold of this game. As you can see, it's not in perfect condition. The actual outer box, it's got a game station sticker there. It's got a bit of label damage in the corners and then there's actually a piece missing off the spine. That doesn't bother me too much. This is a game I've really, really wanted to play. I never played it back in the day. Um, and if you look over the rest of the game, it's actually in spot on condition. That manual is, is really good condition. The disc is perfect. It's not got a single scratch on it that I can see. I've given it a blast, a great little game. A real, real blast, quite difficult. Took me a while to get into. But yeah, once you get into it, it's a really, really solid little game. Definitely worth checking out that one, guys. And then next up, we've got a holiday find. Um, I mentioned in my last video that I went away for a week and found a few little charity shops in the local village there. And I managed to pick up, whoops, after I drop everything, I managed to pick up this. And that is a brand new, in the box, Original Xbox arcade stick. Now, again, I've been after one of these for ages. Was humming and harring over the price because um, these are going for silly money on eBay. There's been a few in Facebook groups where they've wanted 30, 35 pounds and that's unboxed. And this, I can assure you, is all minty in there. Obviously, I've taken it out and had a look at it. But yeah, it's in great condition. Really, really chuffed with that. And it cost me 2.99. Bargain, that's the bargain of the year there guys. So I've been looking forward to playing that on the um, coin ops on my Xbox because um, yeah, I play a lot of MAME on there. So yeah, it's nice to have an arcade stick. Yeah, the, the Xbox One control um, Xbox One, Xbox original controllers are, are quite nice, but um, yeah, I want an arcade stick for the shooters really. Next up. Where should we start? Ah, Daniel Coles. I got these off Daniel Coles and this was a good three, three months ago at least. First up was Giga Wing 2 on the Dreamcast. The Japanese release, it's complete the spine in there in fantastic condition. Awesome game, really, really chuffed with that. Um, thank you, Daniel. And also off Daniel in that same bundle, I got Metal Slug for the Sega Saturn, the Japanese release there, all complete. Box is in nice condition as you can see guys, not bad at all, chuffed with that. And then inside is the game and the RAM cart. So it's another big box. I'm sure I'll feature this and some more in an upcoming um, Japanese Saturn video I've got in the pipelines but yeah awesome thank you Daniel Coles that was also through Galaxy Sega that one next up I mentioned him in most of my pickup videos and that's Raymond Ballou I managed to get finally guys a Neo Geo color pocket couple of pickup videos back I got a couple of games and there we go he managed to get hold of me this lovely like camo blue Neo Geo pocket don't know what it is with me in the last few months and handhelds. I can't say I've always been a massive handheld gamer, but 
I'm really, really liking collecting the handhelds again. I have had numerous Neo Geo pockets in the past and the games and sold them on. My God, what prices these are going for now is crazy. I think I sold my last set of these probably two years ago, two, maybe three years ago. And I've got nothing for them compared to what they're worth now. But isn't that the same in all retro at the moment? But yeah, he got me that, which is in lovely condition. And also, it had to have Sonic, didn't it? It's got the Sonic. Which is a really good game, I've been blasting this loads, it's been really enjoying this. All complete and in lovely condition. And it doesn't stop there, he sent me some free gifts, Ray is a top top man. He sent me this Leap Star learning game, Sonic, Sonic X. God knows what that's all about. It's one of these interactive kids games. How awesome, it's something Sonic for the collection. Well chuffed with that Ray. And he's also sent me this little LCD solar powered game. Looks like a bit of a, like a makeup compact, I suppose. Yeah, that opens up, and once it gets enough light into it, the game come on. It's like a little scuba diver game. Sub attack. But yeah, really chuffed with that. Thanks so much, Ray. Awesome with the free gifts. Next up, I think we're going to focus on some Mega CD. There's quite a bit of Mega CD. Mega CD to go through. I've been focusing on those and I think first up we're going to go to Peter Coombs. Peter Coombs um, decided to cull some of his Mega CD collection. Well not just his Mega CD, Sega in general. He's focusing on set titles rather than complete sets. Um, and yeah, I took a few off his hands. He done me a great deal. First up we've got Sensible Soccer. Now this is one that I thought I actually owned on the Mega CD, um, but yeah, I looked through and I, I, I didn't have it. So I've got Sensible Soccer off Pete, lovely condition, awesome Pete, thank you. And then next up we've got Yumi Mystery Mansion, is it? Yumi? I know it was released on the Sega Saturn as Mystery of Hidden Souls or something like that. Mystery Mansion, but again in lovely condition. Intrigued to see how that plays on the Sega Saturn, on the Mega CD and the Saturn. I do believe I've got the Saturn version somewhere. But yeah, great condition, awesome. Another one for the set. And then next up, we've got a bit of FMV, glorious FMV gameplay, and we've got Surgical Strike, a game I've been after for a while actually. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's a rare game, but it's it's not as common maybe as some of the others, but again, it's in absolutely lovely condition, guys. Well, it's still got the bubble wrap in the back. It's absolutely bang on condition, Pete. Awesome. As always, mate. And then one of the long box games I needed. Even more brittle than a Dreamcast case. And that is Power Factory for the Mega CD. Getting a fair few of these long box ones, and I think... I'm long overdue doing a Mega CD Sega Wall update, I think, because I've added quite a few titles since the last one. It'd be good to run through those again. But again, the manual is in the inlay there, or well, they both act as one, and there's the game, all minty. Awesome. And then the last one off Pete, which he done me an absolutely fantastic deal on, and that is Theme Park. Now this one is a this is a harder one to get on the Mega CD. You really don't see it around that often, unless you want to spend mega money on eBay. But this one, it's got a little tiny crease on the manual. I don't know if you can see that there, guys. But apart from that, it is absolutely immaculate. Again, Pete done me an absolutely fantastic price on all of those. Awesome, Pete. Top Galaxian. Um, sticking with Mega CD. We'll go on to the next ones. Now these were off Nathan Russell. He's a fellow admin on Retro Realm. And yeah, real great guy. He's done, he got a fantastic Mega CD pickup. Absolutely fantastic um, collection he picked up. Um, a lot of games there. And fortunately he had quite a few I needed. So first up we've got Make My Video in Excess. Not a rare game and um, he done me a great price on this. 
Um, it's ones creeping up, these sort of ones, these ones that you really couldn't give away a year or two ago are actually creeping up in price. So it's good to get that out of the way. And then we've got one that is quite difficult to get and again increasing in value and that's Kids On Sight. This one has got a crack across the front there. But apart from that, it's in great condition. What's handy with the Mega CD is um, you can easily source and pick up the, the double CD cases for those. I try and keep them original to be honest, unless the case is really, really bad, then um, I will keep them in that case. And then next up we've got Slam City with Scotty Pippin. Again, all complete. In awesome condition. And that one really is in good, good condition. Um, one, um, again, it's gone up and up in value, and that is the animals on the Mega CD. I've never played this. I just presume it's like an interactive, or interactive sort of like style game. The San Diego Zoo presents the animals, the multimedia experience, a bit like them early PC multimedia sort of stuff you used to get when you bought a PC. I'd imagine it's down those paths. Haven't had a chance to load it up yet, but in good condition. And again, one I needed for the set. And then one I am quite chuffed to get because I really want to play this on the Mega CD. I do own it on the Mega Drive, and I, it's one you can pick up really cheap on the Mega Drive Pitfall. Um, but I keep, I, I've saved it. I thought, oh, I'm going to get it on the Mega CD. Hopefully, have a bit more animation and better sound. Again, it's immaculate. And again, another one. Mega CD at the moment really is popular. And that, again, is commanding a, double the, what it was 18 months ago. So, great price on that. One I used to have on a system, and that is BC Races. Now, I used to play this back in the day, and I'm pretty certain it wasn't on the Mega CD. And I can't think what it was. Maybe it was the Amiga? I'm not sure. But I used to have this game, I used to play it a lot, and I can't remember what system it was. I know it definitely wasn't the Mega CD, because it wasn't until recently that um, I knew this was on the Mega CD, so I'm pretty damn certain it wasn't that. Um, but it's Core Design Limited game, again in nice condition, all complete. The manual has got a little crease there, but again Nathan told me all about this and it was all reflective in the price. I'm happy with that, absolutely happy with that. Again, a game I really want to play, so really chuffed to have that in the collection. Awesome Pete, Pete, Nathan. <laughs> um, and finally off Nathan. Um, I do collect the odd Sega CD game if I can get them at a reasonable price and it's pretty much chucked this one in for me because all the case is broken and um, I think there's a bit of tape on the inlay. Um, but that's Mad Dog McGree. Again, I'll be interested to see how this plays on the Sega CD. Um, but yeah, a cheesy, cheesy FMV shooter. Can remember these in the arcade back in the day. Um, again, I don't think I've ever played it on the Mega CD. Well, it never come out on the Mega CD. Never come out in um, the UK. Only in North America, I do believe. So I'll be looking forward to giving that one a blast. That's it, the Mega CD. And wow, that is a massive chunk that I need into the collection. And that brings... Oh, what is that? That's got to be at least another dozen titles off the list. Um, yeah, the Mega, the Mega CD collection is looking really good and I really feel like it's time to do an update video on that one, guys. Next up is Dreamcast. Now, I've deliberately not really focused on my Dreamcast in the Sega Walls and um, in pickups, you'll see me pick up the odd one or two, but I've had nearly, I say nearly, I've been about 30, 40 games off a complete set. Um, for about the last two years on the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast is the only collection I have that I've had since new. So I've had many of these titles since their launch. But you know, there's obviously quite a few games that either I weren't into at the time, or just, you know, not my cup of tea, that I haven't bothered with. And you know, they're the ones I need to get now. Um, Peter Armour, on a, retro, on a retro tip, I shall put a link to his awesome YouTube channel down below. 
he's decided to cull some of his Dreamcast games. He's gone through the epic mission of getting a full Dreamcast set. And, you know, he's decided to move a few of those on. And I thought, what better to then um, put him to, to help me complete my set is to take some of those off Pete. And, you know, yeah, get them in the Sega wall. And there's quite a few here, guys. We're going to start with an NTSC one, because I like to get the exclusives of all NTSC sort of games. And that is Centipede. I used to love this game back in the day on the old Ataris. This one looks like it's a complete and utter update. So I'm really itching to give this a go. Um, it's all complete. Needs a new dual case, but I'm sure I can sort that out. But yeah, really looking forward to that. If I can, I'm going to put some gameplay up of this. Um, but yeah, it looks diff it looks interesting. Um, I quite enjoyed the Miss Pac-Man one um, that was released. So I'm looking to get all of these in the set. And Centipede, like I said, loved this back in the day on the Atari 7800 and the 2600. Loved them on them. So that's awesome. Really chuffed to get that one, Pete. And then we've got... Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Rogue Rogue Spear. Never, I was never one for these sort of games back in the day. I know they were immensely popular. They just weren't my sort of thing. You know, I think I played the first one through. Quite enjoyed that, but yeah, you know, I was never gripped by these type of games. I'm more of a John J. Rambo sort of player. You know, these sort of games where you've got tactics, I usually just charge in. All guns blazing, and you know, if I can't get on doing that tactic, then I usually get bored. <laughs> uh, next up is Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Now, I've had the other Toy Story game, pretty much from back in the day, but this one, this one's a mission. I don't know why I've struggled to get hold of this one. It's not a particularly rare game, maybe just an uncommon one, but complete in awesome condition. This one, Freestyle Scooter, sealed up. So a nice one to add to the set. Um, yeah, there's not really a lot else to say about that. I don't think it's a top game or anything, but one that's got to go in the set to get a complete one. Pod 2. Now this is a game I was convinced I already owned. Perhaps I did at some point and I've lent it out or traded it. But yeah, Pod 2. Um, this one needs a replacement case. But yeah, all complete. Good little game as well, good little futuristic racer that. Next up, Charge and Blast. Again, a nice, nice condition, complete. A good one to add to the set. I've been having an urge, guys, to play a bit of ice hockey. And I think I'm gonna give this one a blast. Sega Sports NHL 2K. Me and my brothers, we used to love playing ice hockey games back in the day on the Mega Drive. And the Saturn, I think there was a good one on the Saturn too. So I want to look forward to giving the Dreamcast one a blast. Again, all complete, great condition. As you can tell, guys, most of these are sort of fairly average titles because I've got a lot of the big hitters on the Dreamcast. Next up is Wild Metal. That's got to be one of the most boring front covers. <laughs> Box arts I've ever seen, I don't know why, but yeah. Wild Metal there, guys. Another one, this one's eluded me quite a few times. Um, it's it's becoming a pricier game. Kiss Psycho Circus, Pinball, or Nightmare Child. It's not Pinball at all, is it? Do you know what, I thought that was Kiss Psycho Circus Pinball, but the Nightmare Child, so I'm gonna have to give this one a blast and see what that's all about. Awesome. Speed Devils Online Racing. Now this is one I didn't know existed until Pete let me know about this one quite a while ago. That's when he was on his chase of getting his complete set. And I can remember him telling me of the few online exclusive games. And this was one of them. I've got the original Speed Devils, obviously, but the online racing one, a little bit more tricky to get. So I've got that one off Pete. Brilliant. Another Rainbow Six, including Eagle Watch missions. Yeah, all the same there. Then we've got... Snow Cross Championship Racing. Be interesting to give this one play. I can't really say I've ever played like a snow ski type racer game. I'm sure there was plenty on the PS2. But yeah, I'll give that one a blast. And then we've got Conflict Zone on the Dreamcast. Now this one's all complete and sealed. 
that is the word I was looking for. So yeah, awesome. Exhibition of Speed. Now this is a game of what I'd play. I'm going to give this one a blast later, I think. Um, but yeah, another racer. The Dreamcast was spoilt with a lot of racers. A lot of racers. Considering its short lifespan, there was a lot of car games. And then that finally brings us on to Roadsters. So that is a massive chunk there of Dreamcast games. I must now be into just the teens that I need on the Dreamcast, which is awesome. That is brilliant, Pete. Really chuffed to put that in the Sega wall. I'm going to have a busy afternoon now putting these into the wall. That's it, guys, for this episode. Until the next time, goodbye. Hey, guys, I forgot to mention that I'll be going to the London Gaming event on the 19th of November. Hopefully I'll see a few of you there. Until the next time, goodbye.